Hey guys, so today I'm here for my May TBR. I'm super excited for this. First, I'm going to be announcing who the author of the month is. I'm not going to be doing a TBR for last month. The only book I read was Dream House by Cutie Pie Marcia, and I did a review of that, so I'll link it down below. Don't want to talk too much about it um, because I already made a whole video on it, so I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. We're just going to get into May's TBR. I have a lot of stuff going on in May. I don't know if I'm going to get to these, but I'm going to try really hard, I promise. The author of the month is Sarah J. Moss. I didn't have time to read any Alexander Bracken last month, and I'm really disappointed because I got myself all those books. But I promise I will get to them when I can. I just didn't have time. It was a crazy month in April. Like, literally, I was sick from April 3rd until now because I'm still kind of sick. I've been sick for over a month. It's crazy. So... <sighs> Just didn't have time to read. I was just like, it was the kind of sickness where you can't lift your head to look at something. Like I couldn't do anything like, oh, watch TV or read because I was dead. So it was really, really upsetting and I didn't have a lot of fun. But now I'm going to get into the moss. I'm really excited. So I have already read Throne of Glass. So the books I would be reading are Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, The Assassin's Blade, A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I bought the sequel to that, which came out this month, which I thought was perfect. Which I think is perfect because I feel like a lot of people probably are already caught up on this series. But now that that book came out, you can participate and read the sequel to A Court of Thrones and Roses. And I'm very, very excited to do this. I loved Throne of Glass. I know um, I did a buddy read actually with Luisina from My Reading Glasses. I'll link her channel down below. And she didn't really like Throne of Glass, but I really did. And so I really want to continue on with the series and see what happens next. I just haven't had time. So I'm glad I have an excuse to do it and that you guys voted for that. So there are two polls that you guys should go vote on right now. The first one is to narrow down from the top five to the number one who we're reading in June. And then there's another poll to narrow down to the top five for July. And then we'll vote later to narrow down to the top one for July. So go vote in those two polls. I'll link them down below. I'm really excited. I can't wait to see what you guys pick for us. And that's just all I got with the monthly alliterative author challenge. I have failed every single one pretty much. So I'm really hoping that it picks up soon. I've just been really stressed with senior year, which is weird because everyone says second semester senior year is great. It's not. It's still stressful. I don't know what people are talking about. So there are a couple other books that I'm going to be reading this month. Mostly finishing, not reading. So the first book is The Neverland Wars by Audrey Greathouse. I will already have uploaded my review by the time you see this video because I upload the review before I'm going to be uploading this. So definitely go check that out. I'll link it down below. But we'll see what I think of it in that video. The next book that I want to finish is 10th of December by George Saunders. Now I did a whole discussion on some of the stories in this but we were only required to read six or seven of the stories I want to say and so there's like five more that I haven't read and I can't mark it as read on my Goodreads until I finish it but we don't have to finish it for school which is why I've taken so long to get to finishing it but I'm going to do that soon because it's killed me to have this on. That's why I haven't started any new books because I need to finish this. And the last book which I started in January got 60 pages from finishing and then just never had time to finish it which is really upsetting is Emma by Jane Austen. I'm almost done I swear I'm on page 353 and there's 392 pages there's like 40 pages left. I actually really did love Emma like I'm really loving this story I just haven't had time to really immerse myself and get into it and read a lot so uh, I am working on that. So thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check out all the links down below like my Twitter my Instagram my Facebook page to keep updated on all that fun stuff and I will see you in my next video. Bye!